Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Ultra League battles here in Go Battle League using Steelix with its new breaking swipe move alongside Amphro Shadow with Trailblaze and then we do have Polyrath with his Community Day counter, Ice Punch and Skull. So we are going to be very weak to grass. This is my first battle. We're going to go unedited here for most of the time. Just one battle into the next without any transitions. Now, <laughs> leave it to go Battle League to put what I'm weak against in the front. Because the grass, Amphros is not necessarily weak to grass, but it's kind of resisted with the electric. Uh, <laughs> but we can work around it. And I quickly realized that, but we're still going to go with this team the entire time. And it did do pretty well, and I know it does have weaknesses. Um, again, my accounts build a little differently, so I have to kind of make my teams uh, work around the algorithm here. So we're up against Greninja. We resist everything. Let's get it. And we did hit him with Breaking Swipe to lower the attack. Now, on the Steelix, I am going to be going with Earthquake and Dragon Tail. I'm going with Earthquake instead of psychic fangs because if i'm stuck up against a steel type i want to hit them a little bit harder than what i'm going to be hitting them with so having earthquake is going to allow me to do just that all right so as you can see here this grass is a little bit of an issue but we're taking care of it no more shields on either end and we have a lugia in the back that's a wrap that is a wrap we have amphros back there full health and we're going to go ahead and swap into it right about now and with breaking swipe which is super effective and the lugia being in the ultra league it is going to be taking a lot of damage on top of us resisting all of the charge moves well at least what most of the people are going to be having which is sky attack and brave bird got a little bit of lag I always get a little bit of lag right before i do finish my opponent but when it comes down to my opponent finishing me because i never force close the app it never freezes like that it kind of just does that but maybe it could be latency on my end and it's just all going through for them. Maybe they're backing out. I don't know. But it still counts. So if you do that, then I don't know what you're doing. Next battle, of course, we're met with another weakness, which is going to be a counter user, Obstagoon. Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Amphros here to kind of just absorb what it throw at us. And it is going to be an obstruct, unfortunately. But fortunately, they are staying here, which is leading me to believe that something in the back doesn't want to see it. So we're going to go ahead and shield that up and go for the Trailblaze, which will be raising your attack every single time you use it. So we're going to raise that attack on top of the shadow damage, going for a um, breaking swipe here. Now, the thing about... Amphros is it's amazing okay <laughs> I love you don't really need an electric charge move because I mean you're doing so much with your quick move and it's shadow and you're getting stabbed so they do have a Cresselia in the back our Steelix is super tanky and it will be taking a decent amount of damage from Grass Knot although we are part steel and we can lower its attack so we have that going on there for us and folks if you could please do me a big favor I'm just gonna ask you to do one little big favor okay <laughs> and it's gonna take you a split second hit that like button if you can do that for me hit the like button folks share this video if you hit the like button and it helps me out immensely so if you support me and you want to you know support me even more then just simply hit the like button and that will ensure that other people will see it and it'll help the channel out and it'll keep me in a nice good mood okay <laughs> and no rants uh, but I know you all love those rants, so you're probably like, well, I'm not going to hit the like button because I want you to rant. <laughs> it's the rants aren't all about that. It's not that's not it. Anyways, taking down that Charizard. No more shield. Let's go, baby. And yeah, we could have went for a breaking swipe, a couple of those, and it would have gotten the job done. But we're just going to go for a clean earthquake and take the win with the Steelix. Now, this thing is going to be ranked two now. Uh, it's going to be right behind Registeel, which I did make which I will be using, but I want to test out, you know, the newer Pokemon. Now, when it comes to the Gen 9 starters, oh, don't worry, you're going to get your Gen 9 starter fill. Next battle, we're met with a Regi Ice. Now, this is not good because, well, they're going to hit me with Blizzard. And, well, we're part ground. Also Steel, so it's not super effective. On top of lowering the attack, it's still going to do a respectable amount of damage at this point. Uh, probably Yellow. Oh, still Green, baby. Let's go. Steelix, rank 2. Now, again, for this Steelix... It doesn't have the ideal IV. It's not even close to 100% IV. You don't want to go with that. It's not a horrible thing. And I do plan on maxing it out one day for whatever reason. As a nice gym dropper or Mega Steelix in, I don't know, Master League or something like that. But on its own in Master League, nah, it's not, it's not where it's at. Not even close. 
um, but you want lower attack, okay? And you want to use those XL candies to maximize the best the best Steelix that you can have for the Ultra League. And they've got a oh, this isn't good. Um, Gliscor in the back. All right, so I've been calling brutal swing breaking swipe. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we'll get it right now. I'm not gonna redo all that. <laughs> I was listening to it and I put in one insert to correct myself and we'll move on here. All right, so swapping into our Polyrath and they have a Gardevoir in the back. All right, gonna go for the Ice Punch. I figure they're gonna just wanna shield it up two times here. And it doesn't look like we were gonna be able to get to that Scold. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw another Ice Punch before it's too late here. And down we go. Yeah, we would have not made it. Bringing in the Ampharos. Now, we can go for the Brutal Swing. That's the real name, right? <laughs> no, Breaking Swipe Poke, you jackass. <laughs> All right, so Breaking Swipe. And it's unfortunate that we're not going to be able to take this win, but it was still close. That was a good game. Yeah, got me there. All right, so yes, I am going to be mixing up Brutal Swing and Breaking Swipe. Okay, I, I, I don't know why I'm tired today. I, I slept plenty. I don't know what it was. Actually, I, I stay up to like three or four. <laughs> looking at the meta thinking about what i should do all right so we're met with a muck here this is great this is really 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 great all right so we're going to go ahead and uh, start lowering that attack right away they hit me with an acid spray hitting them with the uh, breaking swipe here let's go for another one now i could have went for earthquake obviously that would have one shotted them pretty much Although Steelix's attack isn't the best, so you're not going to be doing the most damage. So it's super effective, but I don't know if it'll one-shot. But we do a lot of damage with Dragon Tail. Man, I love it. Oh my goodness, it's such a good... Such a good Pokemon. Ah, let's go. Farming them down. Let's get it. Now we have two Breaking Swipes ready to go. They're bringing in a Verizion. We're going to go ahead and hit these back to bat, as the Earthquake is not very effective to the grass. And we're going to be able to also lower their attack by two stages for the next Pokemon which I'm thinking I'm going to bring in, yeah, that Polyrath. So again, yes, Grass does screw over my team, but we do have workarounds. They're going to be retreating with energy, which is smart, so they don't hit me and waste their energy with Lord attack damage and holding on to it for later so they can do their full damage and bringing in their Giratina. This is not particularly looking great for me, but Ampharos is one hell of a thing here. So we're going to go for the Brutal Swing. Look at that damage. At this point, I was thinking, you know, it's pretty much a wrap. I kind of want to not KO because I want to uh, farm down with Polyrath. That's what we need to do at this point here. But you're going to see there's a little twist to this whole thing with the Verizion. And we still have two shields now. If they have Leaf Blade, we're not going to be in a good place here as they did retreat with a lot of energy. They hit me with a Sacred Sword, which uh, they would have. They should have just went for the Leaf Blade here. So maybe they're trying to play mind games to make me think that they don't have it but it could be stone edge and that's more than likely what they have because that's exactly what they keep hitting me with otherwise they would go for a leaf blade right there all right so we're good to go and we're going to go ahead and farm them down here because we are comfortable to do so and then take out the giratina with an ice punch and we're going to be taking the win here so steelix is definitely something you want to invest in okay it's just it's straight up amazing so find yourself a good onyx and uh Get, you, get get it going. Get whatever you have to go get going there for you. All right, next battle we have uh, Giratina, okay? Do you see that? Do you, uh, do you see? So we put the Ampharos up front. Now, it's fine. I mean, we got Brutal Swing and all, but we had a Dragon Tail Breaking Swipe. Freaking Steelix up front. And the second we take it away, we got the Ampharos going up against the Giratina. I, I mean, it's not... <laughs> It's not like, oh my goodness, we found out this mystery. We all know there's an algorithm. And it is to my belief that everybody who's denying it also believes that there is one as well. Yep, because they can't. They can't agree that there is one at this point because they're in too deep. They're in too deep with their delusion, okay? Isn't it nice being uh, based in truth? You don't have to BS. You don't have to worry about nothing or remember bull crap or... You just speak the truth. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and shield this up. We hit them with a breaking swipe. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take them out here with a skull. Get your ass out of here, Typhlosion. It's a great Pokemon. And they have a Magnezone in the back. I get to the skull. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm surprised they don't have the new quick move on it. Bolt switch. And we counter them down. If you're thinking, why didn't they throw? What, what were they doing? Because they knew it was over. It, it, it's a wrap. I mean, I have a whole Steelix in the back. They needed to get to a whole crap load of energy. And even if Magnezone had a, I mean, 200 energy, I, I, it still can't take out Steelix. Next battle, we're met with Greninja. Okay, there we go. There's our good lead. Now, we still need to look out because uh, 
they can still destroy us with their damage. It's as simple as that Greninja is a beast. All right, shielding up the first one, unfortunately, is a Night Slash. Hitting them with a not very effective Dark move as well, because that's all it really takes. And we take them out. <laughs> ah, we got a lot of energy over here. Charizard, are you serious? There's got to be a water in the back. Let's call it. What do you think? What do you think's in the back? Water? I think there's water. It has to be. If you're coming in with a Charizard, there's no way. All right, so I don't remember this. I really don't. Again, I, I'm just, I'm a little out of it. So farming them down and it is, oh, okay. Makes sense. They didn't want to take all that dark damage, all that brutal swing damage with their Cresselia. So I swap into the Steelix and we're playing a shieldless game. So I'm going to go ahead and just lower their attack. Why not? Now nah, let's just, just go ahead and lower that attack real quick. See, Steelix, you can lower their, their, <laughs> the defense as well as their attack now with uh the moves that it has psychic fangs and brutal swing uh breaking swipe uh, Jesus, you know what i mean <laughs> oh man i'm getting i don't know i just when it when things are too similar i just it, it, it tends to happen all right so we have a skill of dirge here let's freaking go now brutal swing is gonna be super effective so yeah let's go ah. All right, but if we get hit by a Shadow Ball, GG's to us, absolutely GG's to us. Crunch, and we get to the next one. Now they're gonna get, to, they're gonna shield this up at like one HP and throw their charge over here. I mean, they're just trying to win swap. I, I don't blame them, it's fine. Hit me with that Crunch. Okay, we'll bring in the Steelix to farm them down and we're not even gonna take 1% damage. Not even 1%. All right, bringing in, oh, Quack Lavelle. All right, so well, whatever, how the hell you say it, doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> that weird ass duck that I don't like anymore. Uh, so at this point, I just kind of was thinking to myself, I had a little hunch. I was, I was doing that thinking stuff and uh, came to the conclusions <laughs> that there is a mouse curata in the back. Yeah, pretty sure there is. I mean, so we're good, right? Yeah, oh yeah. So I personally have used this thing. Unfortunately, it's not gonna farm that fast, so it can't outpace me with the charge moves that it does have, with the quick move that it does have as well. It ain't happening. So they get me with that Night Slash. I'm thinking, wow, no way. There's no way that they're at their, their grass knot. Impossible, okay. <laughs> I would've just been, my, I would my jaw would've dropped. And I absolutely would've deserved to be in this video. And I forgot the Quack Lavelles in the back whatever and we take the win we're just gonna call it howard actually no whoa 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 whoa, whoa. howard the duck's way better than that all right next back <laughs> that was an insult all right so we have dragonite which is part of flying and it's shadow so it's taking a lot of damage going for the brutal swing brutal swing so the dark is brutal and the dragon is breaking just think of it like that breaking bad dragon all right, so we're bringing in Polarat to go up against the Shadow Swamper. This couldn't be any better. This is just amazing. Let's get it. All right, taking their shields with a nice punch. Figured this might be an earthquake, and of course, it's a bait. We've got two shields left. Of course, it's going to be a bait. It's not always going to be that, but uh, they got me. And now we're down a shield, and they're bringing in Snorlax. Now, that would have been a good matchup for us, right? But we're going to go ahead and bring in our Steelix because we don't really want to go up against Swampert with our ground type, especially if it's a Shadow Swampert. Spammy as hell. Still, we're Oaken. Trailblaze is not helping anything. I mean, it's a cool move, but it's not like, yeah, we're shutting down these Swamperts, baby. Okay. <laughs> Niantic, you guys, man, you're so funny. I can just see it now. There's, there are probably a couple of them like putting these moves together. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it. Yeah, 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 they're gonna love this. And we changed the whole meta. We changed the game, baby. This thing's gonna be completely different. They're gonna love us and praise it and everybody's gonna start playing it again. It's like two weeks in, it's like, eh, me, me. <laughs> That's nice. All right, next game. That was a good one there. Good game, good game, good game. What are we gonna do next? Sitting here for a minute, what's happening? Told you it was unedited for some parts here. All right, so we're at 420, looks like. Oh, we're at 14 uh, minutes and 20 seconds, a second ago. All right, we have another Skeleton Dirge. Let's go. That's my Dirge. I actually just caught 100, uh, one of those starters. Let's go. What's good? Getting all these starters, hundreds, baby. Now you just save them. I won't be powering it up. Well, I won't be maxing it or evolving it, of course, the 100. I will be making one of these and, you know, seeing how it performs and whatever. All right, they're retreating. We've gotten one shield. They bring in Steelix here. 
Now, Psychic Fangs is going to be a thing, unfortunately, that we're going to have to take here, which is super effective, but uh, that's okay. So they hit me with it, and then the retreat into a Trevenant. So since we still have our Amphros in the yellow, as well as a full health Steelix, I think we should be able to pull this off. Now, since they hit me with the Psychic Fangs, I'm just going to go out on a whim and say that they're going to be rolling with Psychic Fangs and um, breaking swipe. Hey, I got it. All right. So I think, uh, yeah, we're going to be okay here. So simply farm them down. Come on, baby. All right. Uh, so we'll shield this up. I figured shield up this, you know, move that's going to be doing the most damage out of it, it, all the Pokemon they have left. And we'll get to your Earthquake here, which is not going to be enough. You're going to see testimony as to uh, Steelix's attack here, as well as its defense. So we do have a mirror match, except for there's the beautiful golden one. And now we'll just go for the breaking swipe here, which will be enough. And they do not have Earthquake, and we'll take the win. This is why I want Earthquake here, see? Uh, having both the breaking swipe and um, Psychic Fangs is going to be great and all, but leaving you a little too vulnerable up against Steel types. Unless you have, like, two coverage Pokemon for Steel, then I guess you can do that. But then, you know, if you're locked into a matchup with a Steel type, those two Pokemon are still not going to help you. Next battle, we're met with a Talonflame greatly, and they swap into Venusaur. Kind of threw me off because, again, Grass is going to be this team's weakness here. So we're going to go ahead and bring in Steelix to kind of just figure out the situation. Lowering its attack, we will be able to take the Frenzy Plan after this. We would have been able to take the first one, but at this point, we'll be able to obviously take it a lot better. Uh, freaking Venusaur Shadow, absolutely an amazing Pokemon. I'm glad to see it on the rise uh, and a lot more people using it and realizing the potential of that thing. Farming them down. They have two shields left, bringing in their Talonflame. I don't know. Uh, all right, so I understand. I mean, because I mean, you can explain all you want in the comments. It helps out my channel when you, you know, more comments is better. But, you know, saving their shields until the literal very end tip of the spear i don't know if it was like a two shield don't use your shields against poke ak challenge or something but yeah it ain't happening over here so yeah <laughs> you, you'll see what i'm talking about all right so we've got the swamper and i'm surprised they haven't used the shield yet and i'm thinking well pff, you're, you're not gonna win that's a, that's a wrap so we'll shield that up we'll get to this here and we're looking pretty damn good no they still have two shields left so Talonflame can't, I don't know what they're thinking here. So I swap into the Amphros. We resist the Brave Bird. They raise their attack, so Brave Bird is going to one shot. That's a son of a gun. We're going to farm them down with counter and we take the win. Let's go. I mean, if they use their shields, I could see myself not winning that. But hey, two shield flex. Let's go. Next battle, what are we going to see here? Still sticking around. That was a good lead. I don't think we want to change it. Let's keep it going here with this weak to grass team. Alright, so if it was between both, like, Amphros and Steelix, I mean, they're both two completely different beasts, so make both. Alright, we're met with a Obstagoon. This is fine. We're going to go for Trailblaze first, as our uh, Brutal Swing is not going to be very effective, and we're not getting stabbed. I was very surprised that Trailblaze didn't really do that much damage. They did, okay, when they went Obstruct. Okay. And our Brutal Swing, oof, what? That's resisted. And it's still doing that much damage. What the frick? All right, we're farming them down. And we're going to be able to throw a yet again another Brutal Swing here. Just a blind one. So we did raise our attack. So we have that going for us. And we're getting a shield. Beautiful. Bringing in our Polyrath. And this is looking absolutely amazing. This is a Hydro Cannon. That was way too quick. We'll let that go. No problem at all. Now, they are in the clear now to one-shot me with Earthquake. So it's not like, oh, what do they do? You, you kind of almost want to throw a Hydro and then an Earthquake. So you can one-shot them with the Earthquake. And this is exactly what's going to happen now. Not quite one shot, but almost there. And we have energy. We're going to go ahead and throw that. It looks like it is going to ninja. We're going to try to lower that attack with Scold. And we get the shield. And now they're shieldless. Bringing in Steelix. Folks, you want to see something fun? So we are... Oh, we're letting that first one go. Why? Okay. Pretty much, I think the reason why I'm doing that is because we know we're going to outpace them with the attack anyways. Although it would have been wiser to shield that up because, you know, now we're, you know, lowering their attack. But I felt like I had it in control, so I guess that yeah, makes sense here. And uh, Polyrath. So, <laughs> no more shield. They go for a Night Slash and I throw in Polyrath here. Haruken. GG. <laughs>
so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. You will see.